Hey guys, it's Ashley. So I wanted to do the weight loss tag. I just thought it would be something fun to have on here. Um, it's a 14 question tag, so I'm just gonna get started. Um, question number one, when did you start to gain weight? Well, I was um, a skinny like toddler and um, you know young child. And when I was in kindergarten, like as I told you yesterday, my, um, my mother was murdered when I was a baby. So my grandma, became, you know, mom, took care of me, and she was a single mother, and she had me full time. So she would drop me off at AM kindergarten in the morning, and in the afternoon, my grandparents would pick me up. Now, here I was, now five, um, you know, a couple of years after losing my mother in a very tragic way, and <clears throat> everyone, like, you know, spoiled me. They'd bring me food that I liked. They'd bring me candy. They'd bring me, you know, it was that poor baby lost her mother, you know? It was it was out of love. Um, now my mom, my grandma that raised me, didn't do that with me because she's heavy and most of the people in my family are heavy and she really didn't want me to go that route. She really, really didn't want me to go through that. Um, but everyone else kind of did. So considering I was at my grandma's for hours every day after school, that's when I started kind of putting on the pounds. Um, I love my grandma to death, but... It's also what fueled my bad eating habits because I would eat dinner and I'd want to go play and I'd be sitting in front of the TV coloring and she'd bring out like snacks and put it in, on the table in front of me while I would watch TV. So that kind of started. And she didn't mean to. I love my grandma to death. I love her so much. But it did start some bad habits. So I started getting a little pudgy at five. Um, what was your heaviest weight? What I was last week? 270 pounds. Question number three, what diets have you been on? Um, I tried like the cabbage diet, the vegetable soup diet, South Beach. Um, <clears throat> I tried like Shakeology. I tried, um, I tried a bunch of crap. And before I decided just to try to do this the healthy way, I was going to try that HTG, whatever that thing is. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm not going to do a diet. I'm just going to do, um, what's healthy, I guess, and still be able to enjoy food because I love food. Um, question number four, is your goal a number size or a goal on the scale? A goal on the scale. Um, but more importantly than the scale is just how I feel and how my body looks to me. Question number five, what is your favorite food? Caesar salad, lasagna, cheeseburgers, anything Italian or Mexican. So yeah, basically lots of cheesy things and yeah. Anyone have a good veggie lasagna recipe that's not too terrible? Let me know. Um, <laughs> question number six, what's your favorite now? Well, I just started this, so my favorite foods are still my favorite foods. Um, favorite healthy things to eat. I love those Quaker yogurt granola bars. The blueberry ones are really, really good. The ones that are advertising on TV with the girl who like waves it around her face because she loves her yogurt granola bar. <laughs> and with the blueberry ones are really good. I like that as a snack thing. As a meal thing, right now I'm into taking the spinach tortillas and putting in lettuce, romaine lettuce and spinach and um, <clears throat> a thin layer of no fat, Ken's honey mustard, and then chicken strips or chicken breast um, cut up in it, um, peppers, all different kinds of things, and then roll it up and have like a, a like hearty wrap for dinner. Um, that's my current favorite right now. Uh, let's see. Question number seven, what food will you not give up? Um, this sounds terrible, but I'm just going to be honest. Taco Bell, like that's my huge weakness. I'm still going to treat myself to Taco Bell once in a while, but I'm not going to get a huge order. I'm just going to get like one thing. Like I'll just get the quesadilla or I'll get like two tacos and a bean burrito and not like $15 order. Um, I don't want to give that up and I don't want to give up pop just yet but I'm drinking diet, so. And I'm only having half a can to one can a day instead of like six a day, so still baby steps. 
Um, number eight, how do you reward your accomplishments? I haven't come to that yet because I haven't really gotten there, but probably with makeup or, um, you know, new clothes that fit me right. Question number nine, what will you do at your goal? I haven't even thought about that. Isn't that funny? What will I do at my goal? I'll probably cry. I'll probably cry and not believe it and like fall on my knees in tears that I finally got there. I can't wait for that. Um, and then I'll just be really happy and maintain and be proud of myself. Um, question number 10, what diet or plot are you following right now? I'm not. I'm just eating healthy and trying to make better decisions with the things that I do eat. <clears throat> question 11, favorite body part? I don't have a favorite body part. I like my eyes, I guess. But I would count my eyes and I don't know if you can, whoa, hello, son. Um, I don't know if you can see or not, but I have very green eyes. They're like a weird jade green eyes. I got my eyes through my dad. And um, I like them. <laughs> They're okay. Sometimes I like having curly hair and sometimes I hate it. But I will say that I do have good hair, I have good thick hair. Um, it's easy to work with. The curls just aren't my favorite. Um, I don't think that counts as a body part, though. <laughs> mm. um, let's see. Number 12, what are your non-scale goals? My non-scale goals are to be able to go in a store and fit in normal clothes that they have and not have to have these crazy print things or um, and to be able to get a purse, one of those cute little purses that can go right under my armpit because my arms aren't too big. To be able to walk around without getting so super out of breath. I have so many. Like literally, like I said in my Desperately Need to Lose Weight video, everything revolves around my weight. It hinders everything in my life. So the number is nothing. It's, it's the journey getting there and feeling the difference in my body that I'm so excited for. Um, what makes losing weight hard for you? The emotional side of it. I don't like feeling empty and I'm like a binge eater. So like when I eat, I don't want to just eat until I'm not hungry anymore. I want to eat until I'm gut busting full about to puke. For some reason, like I don't, I don't feel satisfied unless I feel like that. Unless I feel like sick from eating so much. It's disgusting. So that's something I really need to work on. Um, luckily, I've just been kind of doing that with salads. But it's a different feeling. It's not a sickening feeling. It's just like a very full, like content feeling. And another thing that makes it hard is just I, I'm so emotional. I beat up on myself so bad. Number 14, and the last question, would you ever consider weight loss surgery? You know, I wish I could tell you no and mean it. And I wish I could tell you that God made me the way I am and that, you know, I am a very religious person. And I know that God made me the way I am and that everything's predestined, but I'm not happy with the way I am right now. So I'd like to tell you no. I'd like to tell you that I want to do it the healthy way. But if I was financially able to do it, to get a head start, I absolutely would. I know it's risky and I know it's dangerous, but I've gotten to the point where it's just so defeating just seeing it. You know, I just, if I could just get a little bit of it gone, you know, I don't know. So that's the tag, um, the weight loss tag. I tag all of my new subscribers that are on their weight loss journeys. I think it would be a great way to kind of get to know all of you and, um, See where you're at in your journey and you know kind of how we got the way we are and blah 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 blah. So definitely tag Tiffany and everyone else. Alright. <laughs> Bye guys.